My Catholic Faith, Lesson 107, The Fifth Commandment, You Shall Not Kill. The first murder on earth was committed by Cain when he slew Abel. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out into the field. Now when they were in the field, Cain turned against his brother Abel and slew him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Murderers do not act as brothers of the murdered. What are we commanded by the fifth commandment? By the fifth commandment we are commanded to take proper care of our own spiritual and bodily well-being and that of our neighbour. Sins against this commandment are many, including murder and suicide, and also anger, hatred, revenge, drunkenness and bad example. We may, all, we may almost say that all injury to body and soul is a violation of this commandment. The works of the flesh are manifest, which are enmities, contentions, anger, quarrels, murders, drunkenness, carousings, and such like. And concerning these I warn you, as I have warned you, that they who do such things will not attain the kingdom of God. Anger is a strong feeling of displeasure, combined with a desire to inflict punishment on the offender. It is contrary to the Spirit of Christ, who is meek and humble of heart. We must take care not to hurt or wound another's feelings. If we fall into the misfortune of, misfortune of doing so, we must apologise or make amends in some other way. Do not let the sun go down upon your anger. Anger often arises from pride or envy. Those who think much of themselves get angry at every supposed slight or injury. They should remember Christian charity and fear these words. Everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. But let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not work the justice of God. Hatred is a kind of habitual anger, a strong dislike or of or ill will towards anyone. When a person hates someone, he sees no good in the one hated. He would like to see evil rain down on the one hated. He rejoices in all misfortune of the one hated. Hatred is a sin because it violates God's commandment. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. If we hate certain qualities of a person, but have no antagonism towards the person himself, our feeling is not necessarily sinful. It is not hatred to detest the evil qualities of others. We must hate the sin, but not the sinner. We must be careful, however, not to commit rash judgment regarding qualities, as we cannot know all circumstances. Let us have charity towards all. The sin of revenge is the desire to inflict immoderate or unjust punishment on someone who has injured us from a motive of anger. When serious, revenge is vengeance, a sin against charity and justice, most sinful and unchristian. However much we are injured, we have no right to take the law into our hands. St. Paul said, Do not avenge yourselves, beloved, but give place to the wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Forgive your neighbours in justice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. What is murder? Murder is the voluntary and unjust killing of a human being. Murder is a great sin. A murderer violates the rights of God over human life and, besides taking a life, robs his victim of the opportunity to gain merits for heaven and prepare himself for death. God created man and has supreme dominion over life. You know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. The direct intention to kill an innocent person is always forbidden, as against this commandment, whether it be by public or private authority. And the human body may not be mutilated unless that were the only way to preserve the health or save a life. Since violation of the body is forbidden except to save life or health, Anyone performing sterilization for the purpose of preventing conception commits grave sin. 
Some would propagate the idea of euthanasia or mercy killing, a direct and deliberate killing of those in great pain, of the defective, moronic, or otherwise incapacitated. Such mercy killers are murderers who usurp the rights of God over life. A mother bearing a child should be very careful to protect and preserve the life of her child. As the soul is created at the very moment of conception, anything willfully done which results in the death of, an, of even an unborn child is murder. Not even to save the mother's life may an unborn child be killed by direct abortion. If the death of a child results secondarily in an attempt to save the mother's life, and after all precautions have been taken to safeguard the child, this is indirect abortion, and is permitted for grave cause. In the United States, one pregnancy out of three ends in abortion. It is lawful to kill animals for food, because God has given them for the use of man. The fifth commandment forbids the killing only of human beings. God himself commanded the killing of animals for sacrifice after having given this commandment. It is our duty to care for animals, refrain from tormenting them and from killing any useful animal without reasons. But we must not lavish on them exaggerated affection as if they were idols. When is it lawful to take another's life? It is lawful to take another's life in self-defence or the defence of another unjustly attacked. A woman may kill to protect herself against criminal assault. One may defend life or property against enemies going so far as to kill. One, however, may not do more than what is needed for defence. If wounding an assailant is sufficient, it would be wrong to kill him. One is not justified to kill in order to protect property of trifling value. Setting a trap to kill a chicken thief is murder. In executing criminals condemned by legitimate authority, society must protect itself from crime and may, through constituted authority, order a sentence of death. Private persons and mobs have no right to put anyone to death. Lynching is murder. In a just war, a nation has the right to exist and protect itself. It is lawful for it to repel by force those seeking to destroy it, and thus to defend its rights in a grave matter. Nations may also assist other nations unjustly attacked, or whose rights are encroached upon. War, however, is an evil which must not be embarked upon except as a last resort.